to see Hey everyone, what is up? It is your girl Ali or Ali Bug, whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles you or a pickle or a nickel. And here in this channel, we do lots of things. And today, we are just going to be showing off our little so as you all know I work at a Walgreens and as an employee you accumulate points you know with all your purchases and like I like to put in orders on the app because I get discounted stuff um, and the app is awesome and I get so much off um, with the coupons the coupons be lit girl so you are sleeping on Walgreens like for beauty products for real so I'm not a huge fan of a big name beauty products you see my last video where I was like bitching about the um maybelline liquid lipstick that i recently bought because it has really just grown it has made my lips so bumpy so like you can kind of tell like right here just under my keep it's bow do keep in mind that it has been a couple days so of course my lips do look you know a little bit better you can go watch that video i'll link it down below you can actually see a picture that i insert where it is swollen and bumpy um but thankfully my lips are doing a lot better i did go ahead and buy some medicated lip balm some carmex we do love carmex over here plus of course got spf 15 we love that um and it comes with three so i am gonna just open this up and show you what they look like I used to love these in high school. These were like my favorite lip balms to use. And I love buying the three pack because of course you get different flavors. So we are going to run with the mint one for now. And the active ingredients are oxybenzone and octinoxate. So different, I guess two different kinds of ingredients that you typically find in sunscreen. And I'm just going to put a little bit there. Just kind of rub it in. another reason why i wanted to show you guys what i bought because look what i got i got the telescopic lift girl michaela nagara drama let's go listen i had to know i just had to know like how what kind of makeup enthusiast i'm not a guru i'm not a beauty influencer by any means however i do enjoy and love makeup and get hype about it and i love hyping others up about it i do see it as an art so it's like why not give this sucker a chance and see what is the hype that everybody's talking about so i'm gonna apply um i guess to one side at first and then obviously both and you guys in the comments can let me know what you think about it so let's go actually took off all my makeup from today um i'll even insert um i guess a picture i don't know if i took a picture of my makeup today i had some fire makeup and i actually think i didn't take a selfie imagine if i did i'll somewhere up here put it when i'm editing i'm so excited oh my gosh okay so this is what the wand looks like we're gonna focus camera we're gonna be poo poo i guess we're being poo poo today i don't know maybe it's because my head's in the way i don't know if you guys can see that i'm using my phone camera but it is like super intense you can kind of see the bristles but it's very um intense they remind me of like spider like legs so t i know that looked like like three so I know that look like three separate swishes, but just like Jeffree Star, your girl likes to make sure that every little itty bitty lash on some Cinderella shit, like every maiden, is getting the love and attention. Girl, if you put your makeup on, like your your mascara, and you don't like open your mouth and shit like girl are you even a thing i mean she is giving I, like nicked to myself in the bottom of my fucking eye there i don't like doing the bottom lashes because i'm so bad at them I love you guys, but I literally cannot see because the lighting. <laughs> I'm staring like into a bright ass light. So I'm pulling out my handy dandy ColourPop. Um, oh, wow. Okay, the camera is not giving these lashes justice. I just went to look at like what it looks like. 
and girl first of all i did not get any bottom lashes all i did was smear this shit on my eye so let's look at some dickinson's makeup wipes i don't know if i like these makeup wipes i'll be honest with you they're they smell weird i thought because they were dickinson's that they would be like you know natural and cute and like smell good they do not they stink they stink and they feel weird like i don't know what kind of i want to say fabric but whatever like material they use for these wipes like it's too rough on my face i don't like it i think the best makeup wipes i've ever used was the ponds i really like those girl this video is like probably gonna be ridiculously long for no reason okay i'm gonna temporarily just like not look at the camera and just try my hardest to get these my bottom lashes are non-existent like they're baby lashes they're tiny okay i actually got some that time the thing is i barely have any lashes on my bottom lash i ain't even gonna front well i mean i don't know okay here's the thing i think if N michaela Neguera like never wore those fake ass falsies i don't think there would be this whole controversy about it because honestly the product is not bad it's not bad at all and that's a lot coming from me because girl no ain't nobody like lord so you can kind of see <laughs> i've like loved over like white eyeliner because that nyx white eyeliner curl no matter how much makeup remover i use that shit ain't coming off <laughs> um but this is what the um you know mascara like did at this point i didn't swipe so many times i don't even know how many like i really don't know how many layers i put on there probably like three or four but i mean it's giving you can definitely tell more i i never wear mascara personally because bitch i wear glasses you can never even see it um i think if i were to wear contacts you could see it but you just i don't know that's cute or whatever <laughs> it's giving trauma no let me stop <laughs> i mean for a bitch i don't got no lashes like it's giving girl okay i'm super oh. hyped about this so i'm gonna oh. just put a couple swatches on my arm so you can oh. see that's so cute elma's on the peach one and then big bird's on the yellow one and i love that it's like their faces on it it's so cute because you know what i haven't gotten hype about uh, a palette in a very long time simply because palettes just don't interest me anymore like like i have so much makeup i literally do not need anymore i mean i'm sure a lot of it's like getting old at this point but oh the glitter moment i'm with it i love that they made oscars one like this really cute glittery green this is cute i like that's not all the colors i do want to test this like gold one here Bruh. hello hello that is so cute okay lastly we are going to try um i was thinking about doing a cute pink look tomorrow i do not like the color pink if you know me you know I actually very much hate the color pink i'm not a fan of it um however um every now and again i get this notion to either wear it do my makeup in it or get nails um done in it um it's like a random moment where i just want to give the color some justice i think mainly because it's mother's day and it's very much appropriate for the day um there's just so much pink at my job and it just makes sense for me to rock the color so um and honestly it's mainly for my homegirl who loves the color um it's kind of like an inside joke she knows how much i hate it and i know how much she loves it so very much so i don't mind rocking it because i know she'll get hype about it <laughs> shout out to priscilla i love your face okay so we're trying the covergirl exhibitionist cream lipstick in the shade pink sherbet 480 so i've never used covergirl lipstick before um 
So we're just gonna give this a shot and I'm gonna let you know what I think. I need my mirror to apply this. Girl, don't break my lips out any more than they already are, okay? Thank you. Maybelline already succeeded in that. Okay, now that I'm looking at it. Why does lipstick smell like a cupcake? I'm done. Y'all trying to be making me eat my lipstick and shit. Okay, but this color's cute. <laughs> Creme is an understatement, honey. This shit is like satin. <laughs> Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. It feels nice on my lips, but I just can't get past it being pink. I just don't like it. Like, girl. <laughs> I just gotta. No, thank you. <laughs> it's cute though. And it feels nice. Alright. Well, that's that. Um, and then I have this daily moisturizing cream that I got from Burt's Bees. Oh my gosh. It's like. You just cannot see anything because the damn lighting of this is so bad. Okay, let's see. It's for sensitive skin and it is the daily moisturizing cream from their skincare line. <coughs> I've never tried their skincare stuff, so this will be a first. Alright, so <laughs> I um, started to open it and I thought it was cute. <laughs> they have this in there and I think this is a really good way to protect skincare products so you see this little thing right here you pull it off and there's the hole i think that's genius like i don't know when we started doing that for products but i think more products should follow Burt's bees approach to making sure your product is nice and sealed i probably do not even need this much on my face but there's not like an overpowering smell it's literally like stuff that says it's made for sensitive skin but then ends up being super like overpowering i hate that shit but this feels really nice and light i love it oh i love this so much definitely i guess you could say this was kind of like um like a treat yourself mother's day haul for myself because i had some extra points and i was like why not use it um the last thing i have of course are some new nails now y'all know i love the press-ons because girl i'd rather pay 80 dollars for press-ons or eight dollars for press-ons versus 80 dollars for some i mean they'll probably be nice as fuck but girl nobody got money to be going to get the nails done all the time these are really cute i don't necessarily like that they're pink but we didn't really have a lot of options at my job and i figured this was rolling with the whole like oh i'm gonna do a pink look i got some pink nails so they are cute though um very simple so i'm going to be hooking up a mother's day inspired look tomorrow um and try and get that posted by tomorrow thanks for stopping by for my mother's day haul i'm so happy with all of the products that i bought for myself um oh i forgot to show you the setting spray i bought oh my god imagine i always like working really hard and like doing things for other people and i never willingly do anything for myself when i saw this stuff and i saw that it was on sale and that i had extra coupons and stuff i was like girl i'm going to treat myself now the last thing i did get myself was a setting spray i am so against setting sprays because in my mind i'm like girl that's just water in a bottle but everybody is raving about this. Um, I've seen some pretty awesome reviews about it. So I'm going to check it out. Um, I, again, the only setting spray I've ever used was e.l.f. And I really, really enjoyed it. But then I got into learning how to make my own. And so I kind of just make my own. But everyone says this one's really, really good. So for my heavier, like, full face days, and I wanted to stay on longer, I think I'm going to try this. So I will let you know what I think about it in tomorrow's video. Ta-ta for now, guys. Bye. Let me know in the comments below what other kinds of videos you think I should put on my lifestyle channel. Thank you. Okay, bugs. So I'm doing something a little different. Um, normally, for anything that I'm affiliated with, like as far as my energy drink companies or like candy companies I work with, snacking companies, anything like that, 
um, they usually send like a partner or affiliate bundle and if they send a lot of stuff I usually share it with you guys because I know I'm not gonna use it all myself um, or I'll buy a bundle buy stuff I like and then like buy enough extra to do giveaways because they do give us permission to do that well I still have one more dubby um, tumbler and I think the one that I have with the shaker is like where it is actually I have to look and see. I think it's Dragonberry, but I'll double check it. Basically, I'm going to let anyone that likes, comments, subscribes to my gaming YouTube channel, and I'm going to include this in a recent video, um, and at the end of every video going on for the month. May, so any of my ones that are already posted, um, I'm going to include this at the end of the video. Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment um, a bug emoji. In the comment section that will indicate to me that you have listened to this part of the video um, and that will count as your entry for the giveaway and each time that you comment a bug emoji so you can have a max of five comments I repeat five so if I see your name five times that's five entries in this giveaway um, and that is the max if you spam a bunch I'm only gonna count five so five is the max and a lucky winner will win some free don't worry about the shipping I will be shipping it to you so good luck everyone i love you so much and i hope that you have fun doing this you're also helping my channel in the long run so i really appreciate all of you that end up participating in this thank you so much